walk into a house and we try and get some grow house, et cetera. What are your recommendations at that point? Well, I mean, obviously I'm looking for grow houses on every house because they become fairly prevalent. I find 10 or 20 a year. Yep. Yeah. Um, you're looking at the electrical, you know, see if anybody's tapped into the meter. You're looking for all the indications of a grow house and to what extent did it go. Um, if it's throughout the house and somebody's cut floors in the hole and the, you know, holes in the floors and they've been venting, you know, I've seen furnace fans stuck in chimneys to get the heat out of the house. They'll be a creative. Um, your big problem is, do you have mold and uh, moisture problems in the house? Um, until that house is remediated, you really don't have any way of knowing. Uh, if I knew a house was a grow up, I would pretty much want to know that there was complete mold re remediation with some kind of a certificate attached to it telling me that, mm -hmm. there's, that things are good. Um, as a home inspector, mold is actually something I don't test for. I mean, I'm certainly not going to ignore it, and I'm definitely going to look for it, but most of the mold testing is done by air quality tests. To do an air quality test, you have to take the sample, take it off to a lab, wait here. We just don't have that kind of time, and it's not in the feed. Um, it's sort of like asbestos. You know, it's not something I'm going to take on a liability for, but I'm certainly going to be looking for it. Um, but if I saw if I saw a grow house, I would want to have that remediation certificate built into it, something that tells me a mold company was in and actually made sure things were done, because they will peel back until they find no more mold. Okay. Just uh, our stand on it, and that's Bonnie and my stand, if we do find it's a grow house, we'll recommend highly they do not buy it. Why? Even with renumeration renum certificate, it's a stigma. Yeah. Even though you may buy the house and it's fine for 10 years, when you go to sell it by law, you have to reveal that it was at one point a grow house. You're going to literally destroy your market at that point and probably sell it at a loss again. So as far as we're concerned, no. Scrap it, move on, we'll put the time and effort into it and, and find something different. Yeah. There's always something else there. I'm amazed you find 10 to 20 a year. That is higher than it's I would have thought. pretty consistent wow. over the last 10 years. Yeah, that, that's incredible. So it's a lot of people out there doing it. <laughs>